Well, the stock DraftKings shares falling today after it reported a bigger than expected loss. But even with today's drop, the stock is up more than 200 percent this year. Contessa Brewer uh, joins us now with more. Hi, Contessa. Hi there, Tyler. Investors may have actually been spooked by a question on the earnings call regarding an IRS memo declaring DraftKings should pay taxes on daily fantasy sports. Morgan Stanley analyst Thomas Allen says he estimates as much as a $30 million tax bill annually for DraftKings. That would be almost 40 percent of what the company reported for second quarter revenue. But CEO Jason Robbins pushed back hard. He says courts and state legislatures have already weighed in. Fantasy sports is not wagering. And Robin says the rationale is flawed. And anyway, the memo has no force of law. In the meantime, users are rushing to esports. Even since they've started to resume, we've still seen really strong volume and participation in esports. So I think it's one of those things where a lot of people are just distracted with other things. We had a, a big gap with no sports. People tried esports, they loved it. DraftKings gave stronger than expected guidance that excludes college sports this fall altogether, but is predicated on professional sports and especially, as you might imagine, the NFL continuing as currently scheduled. Robin says they've experienced a strong uptick in users in July and August, and he thinks it's going to continue into the sports season this autumn. Tyler, Rahel. Contessa, remind me, and I'm, I, I'm embarrassed for not knowing this, but how does DraftKings make money off of eSports? Is it gambling on, on, on games that, that players are playing or, or what? So the interesting thing is uh, gambling on eSports is not legal in most places in this country. I think it's only two states where you can even wager on those eSports games. But then people can pay for a user fee to get on and participate in that way, uh, sort of the way that fantasy sports work. There's not wagers, but you pay an entry fee. And that's the part about the IRS saying, look, those entry fees are actually wagers and, and DraftKings pushing back on that front.